Hey guys, Humsy Plays here, and we're going to be looking at the Galarian forms of Zigzagoon, Linoon, and Linoon's new evolution. So, yeah, it's crazy how Zigzagoon, out of all, all the Pokemon out there, got a Galarian form. I mean, I think that just means that basically any Pokemon can get a Galarian form. Galarian Zigzagoon looks pretty cool. He has a white and black color scheme, and his eyes are red. And, uh,. Yeah, he looks a lot more cooler than the original Zigzagoon. His design just looks a little bit more modern, too. And his tongue is sticking out, too, which is kind of strange, but... Yeah, he kind of reminds me of a hyena. But uh, let's read, they're saying that this Zigzagoon is sort of like the original Zigzagoon, and the Zigzagoon from Hoenn is kind of like the Hoenn version, the Hoenn variant of this one because they're saying like it's considered the oldest branch of the species and uh, they're saying that there's some speculation that the zigzag movements of zigzagoon, zigzagoon in other regions comes from the Galarian zigzagoon so that's kind of cool how they're saying and this is like the region where zigzagoons came from and um, wait would that mean that this is the original zigzagoon and the zigzagoon from Hoenn is the Hoenn version of Zigzagoon. So um, yeah, I mean it's a cute looking Pokemon so if it's trying to get people angry like people aren't going to take it seriously. But uh, yeah, it, I think he looks like a cool Pokemon and I totally didn't expect Zigzagoon to get a Galarian form. And at first when I saw the trailer I thought like maybe it was like a costume or something because he looked like a Zigzagoon but uh, I guess it is a Galarian form of Zigzagoon, which is like even better. So Galarian Linoon has like these uh, bigger claws or these bigger like paws for its claws compared to the original Linoon. And he also has his tongue sticking out and that star, kind of. You see that star on his eye? Super destructive charges. Galarian Linoon can reach speeds of over 60 miles per hour and can deliver devastating tackles and headbutts. These attacks have enough destructive force to even knock a car away, but they can also throw Linoon off balance if they miss. So, um, seems like they're hinting at double edge here because they're saying it can throw Linoon off balance if they miss. So that kind of reminds me of double edge because of the recoil. Popular among unhappy and angry youths. Wow, <laughs> well, what does that mean? So Galarian and Linoon are rash and fearless, and they will recklessly pick fights even with opponents stronger than themselves. Their fearlessness as well as their tendency to attack opponents head-on make Galarian and Linoon very popular among the disaffected youths of the Gala region, who have nowhere to direct their frustration and anger. So I guess trainers who uh, are mad and angry like to have Pokemon battles, and they like to use Galarian and Linoon in their battles. Like these Galarian forms for the Linoon line look a lot different than uh, the original Linoon. There's something else that like I didn't expect to happen. Like when I saw this in the trailer, like when I, when I saw Galarian Linoon evolving, I was like wow what's it gonna evolve into? Like that had me like really hyped up because like I did like no one expected there to be an evolution for Galarian Linoon because like they've never done that before. Giving a regional variant and evolution but they did that this time so they revealed the new Pokemon Obstagoon so uh, yeah I think it's kind of like a play on words because Zigzagoon was like zigzag, Linoon was lines and Obstagoon is like obstacle so now he is like the obstacle uh, in the way of other Pokemon or something so Evolution spurred on by a harsh environment. The Linoon of the Gala region live in harsh conditions compared to those found in other regions. With fierce competition against others of their species, their survival instincts have been honed as a result, leading to their evolution into the Obstagoon. So it seems like the Linoon here like to fight each other and attack each other. And uh, since there's so much competition, like they were just able to 
have a third evolution and evolve and that's kind of crazy. I mean it's pretty cool looking, it's on two legs. Um, Ops Sagoon kind of reminds me of Zoroark, also Lycanroc, the uh, Midnight form. That's cool, we also got a new move, Obstruct, Obstruct. So yeah, the, now it reminds me even more of uh, Midnight from the Lycanroc because Midnight Lycanroc depends on counter and stuff, it's more of a defensive Lycanroc. I mean, you don't expect Lymoon out of all Pokemon to get an evolution because like, it's just like the Route 1 Pokemon you find. Also here it says Obstagoon is especially skilled at throwing its opponents off guard and counterattacking with its sharp claw. So it seems like it's a Pokemon that waits for its opponents to attack and then it attacks and I, I think Obstruct, Obstruct will be like maybe like Protect except a little bit different. Maybe it's a priority move. Also it says here, living in the unique environment of the Gala region, some regional forms have developed unique evolutions unseen in any other region. Obstagoon, which evolves from Galarian Linoon, is one example. So they're basically saying here Galarian Linoon is one example of the evolution from the Gala region. So they're implying that there's going to be even more evolutions coming up, which is kind of crazy to think about. But yeah, I'm excited because like we've been wanting there to be evolutions of Pokemon from other regions, and Sun and Moon didn't really give that to us. And um, I'm glad that they're bringing it back and bringing evolutions back for Pokemon because like there's a lot of Pokemon that need evolutions. I mean I don't know if Lino needed an evolution but I mean, I'm sure glad that it has one now because like it's really cool looking. I wonder how an original Lino would look like if it had an evolution. I mean they're probably not going to give the original Lino an evolution but it would be cool if somehow they did. I'm also thinking like why did they pick Lion? I would think that Mighty Anna would have a better chance of getting a third evolution or a Galarian form than Lion would. Because like Mighty Anna is a little bit cooler. But maybe Mighty Anna also has a Galarian form, who knows. This basically is telling us that there's gonna be Galarian forms, basically Galarian forms confirmed and also more evolutions confirmed, so this isn't going to be the only evolution. I mean, how cool would it have been if uh, Alolan Raticate had an evolution? I think that would have made Alolan, Alolan Raticate a little bit more cooler. And maybe even Alolan Persian, if he had a third evolution, it would make him a lot more cool. So that's it on the analysis of the Galarian Zigzagoon line. Let me know your thoughts on Galarian Zigzagoon and if he's like, your new favorite Pokemon or if you're looking forward to using him on your team. I mean, I'm excited to see what other Pokemon there are going to be. But yeah, I think that he looks really cool like now. But the third evolution, Linoon, is probably a more decent Pokemon because Linoon, like, his stats aren't that good. But with the third evolution now, his stats are probably a little bit more balanced. So he's probably a little bit more usable now. And uh, he's probably not going to be an HM slave anymore. I mean, they're probably not even going to have HMs in this game. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you want to watch more Sword and Shield videos. And uh, I'll see you next time.